<laughs> I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombra. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Chris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <clears throat> One last thing before I go. You won't be able to break the next Fell Dragon Shard. What do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult. And then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others. But I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains. Or drain the lake. Please, take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location... in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you. I've paid a steep price. Sephia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. You two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... difficult to control. I would control them in time, but not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close. I'm feeling that it's just the right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind just this once. Because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. Sephia, I... don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, 
I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <sighs> Let's go, Vale. Yes. Go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sophia. Thank you... for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. Yes. 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 of a time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once-in-a-lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come you told him about the shard? Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted <sighs> just like that? Does that seem fair? <laughs> Now that they know about the shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You 
really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. <sighs> the four hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Gris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I thank you. Drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. <laughs>